Just special thanks to Alex for gracing that and making the studio look beautiful with a, a very able guest that we had talking about fashion business. But right about now, we are taking a different course. But remember, uh, this is Why in the Morning and this is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And my name is Barry Mosses, or it's Barry Mo on every social media platform. And uh, it's claimed that digital assets or digital content are the new oil. So we have... Uh, a content creator in studio he goes by the name uh, Michael Njoroge in studio with me and is about to share his story and uh, to tell us about this oil mining that is going on in this country right now. Karibu sana. Yes, sir. Thank All right, you. your camera is number four. Okay, thank you mm -hmm. uh, for having me today. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's an honor to be here. All right, uh, just introduce yourself in case I forgot anything about you, any AKA, <laughs> any credentials, <laughs> any extra credentials that you have. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. My name is Michael Njorogi uh -huh. Um uh, I do photography. I started uh -huh. off with photography. Uh -huh. Then I'm doing film as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, basically, yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've done a lot of things, really. All um, right. Uh, yeah. You're self-taught? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Um, you uh, took it to media school? Yeah, I went to media school. Uh -huh. But before I went to media school, I did accounts. Uh -huh. I did... IT, uh -huh. then I wow. did media. How did you end up at media after then, accounts and IT? Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. You know, when you're done with the your story form of form. a Kenyan youth, a typical yeah, Kenyan youth. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. When you're done with your form form, man, uh -huh. everybody is going for accounts, everybody uh -huh. is going for IT. Uh -huh. You know, you don't. Know and you don't want to stay home. You don't want to yeah. look like the <laughs> Msana form. <laughs> msana form. So uh -huh. All right, so you ended up doing accounts. So uh, I did accounts. Uh -huh. I did accounts was crazy, man. Uh -huh. Man, man, I, <laughs> I can't touch this. All right, <laughs> is it coming uh, through for you right now that you have set up your own business and you're running your own business? Yeah. Is the accounts and IT coming through for you? Yeah, the definitely, skills? definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Because now when when I did accounts, uh -huh. like right now, uh -huh. I can do my own invoices, uh -huh. I can do my own returns, uh -huh. you know, I can do my own uh, quotations uh -huh. and stuff like that, uh -huh. my own mathematics and know uh -huh. how the business is going, cash flow and stuff like that. So you appreciate it, yeah, as yeah, much as you didn't yeah, know what yeah, you didn't yeah. want to do. All right, so right now you have set up your own studio, it's called Magic Real Studios. Magic Real Pictures. Uh, ma magic Real Pictures, yeah, Magic yeah. Real Pictures. Yeah. All right, so why, uh, why the name Magic Real? Um, uh, man, I was looking for a name. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a journey, yeah. That's it's always a journey. Because when you come up with an idea, the name has to be first, yeah. and then the logo. Yeah, and then uh -huh. the logo now. Uh -huh. Hey, I have, I've had so many names, eh? Uh -huh. I have one. Open my Instagram account, uh -huh. close it. Uh -huh. hey, that one has And someone. that's the journey of that's doing business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't know maybe where to lie. But Magic Reel, um, uh, I wanted to make... You know, it's it's all about making unique and memorable moments. Unique and memorable moments. Definitely. I've been checking out your YouTube channel, yeah. and uh, it's definitely unique and memorable <laughs> to watch you uh, teach people uh, how not to drown <laughs> and uh, <laughs> teach, uh, teach, teach people these funny things. How do you come up with the concepts? Um, uh, so it's from the events that I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, like um, uh, today we can say, okay, guys, man, let's chill. Today mm -hmm. we're not going to work. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's on a Sunday. Where are we going? Mm -hmm. Let's go swimming. Mm -hmm. So we go swimming. We say, ah, because we have a camera, mm -hmm. why not shoot? Mm -hmm. You get. Then mm -hmm. we say, okay, let's shoot. Mm -hmm. Go. We have GoPros mm -hmm. inside the water. Swim. Mm -hmm. nee, 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 nee. Mm -hmm. So you just come up with the name. Come up with a name yeah. and just show people that it's simple and you can do it to yourself. It's very simple. You're talking about GoPros and uh, the rest of them. Do you have your own equipment? I have my own equipment. All right. Uh, so right now, uh, if I can take you back, mm -hmm. uh, when you started, did you have your own equipment? So um, uh, I've been lucky. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, my grandmother bought me the first camera. Uh -huh. Yeah. When was this? That was 2016. No, 20, 2015. 2015. The end of 2015, yeah. Uh -huh. So I started now doing now photography as, uh -huh. you know, as, a, as a career and trying to, you know, how to get clients and uh -huh. stuff like that. All right. Yeah. So now when my grandmother bought me the camera, uh -huh. and I was, because I, I had done some internship from some other place, uh -huh. so I had some, you know, I had some knowledge or a know-how of how to shoot and... Mm -hmm. Take pictures. I wish you knew the kind of things my grandmother has bought for me. <laughs> it's far from a camera. But I love you, Grammy. <laughs> and that I be Grammy. <laughs> so, much love. so your grandma understands this passion. What did your parents think about your grandma encouraging you to get into this <laughs> in this line of work that is not uh, pro African parents? I think my, my parents are, you know, open to any idea. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that's how parents should be right mm -hmm. now. Because the careers that guys are doing right now, mm -hmm. they are not there five years ago mm -hmm. or maybe 10 years ago mm -hmm. they're not the same careers that are right now mm -hmm. so my parents used to encourage me to you know i did accounts i said mm -hmm. i don't want that mm -hmm. okay, they told me okay now go to whatever mm -hmm. i did a, i did it mm -hmm. they said 
not really. It's almost there, okay. but not there. Because uh, uh, you are behind the computer, <laughs> but no. Uh, not there. Uh, so then, let me go for the last one. Now, uh -huh. the media. Uh -huh. When I went to media, I did a diploma. I actually didn't finish it. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't graduate. Mm -hmm. Because I already had a job. Mm -hmm. You know, I started working. I started getting these gigs uh -huh. from Uganda, from uh -huh. all over. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's a passion. It's something that you love doing. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started now doing it. For, for real. Again. That's how you end up there. Yeah, yeah. We're going to come back to these, all these gigs you're getting uh -huh. in all these countries you've traveled. Uh -huh. uh, but before we talk about that, I'm trying to understand the transition from uh, the camera you got from your parent okay. to now selling a TV show to one of the ma uh, major TV stations in the country right now. Uh -huh. uh, how did you transition to that from getting your first camera, okay. taking pictures for fun, uh -huh. transitioning to uh, doing it as a business okay. and s actually selling content to TV stations? Okay. So uh, what happens is um, uh, when you when you start doing photography, mm -hmm. uh, you get to know a lot of people in mm -hmm. the industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to be and models. A, and <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be a really really uh -huh. good person when it comes to talking to people mm -hmm. and interacting with people. Because mm -hmm. now I started I, sta I started doing photography. Now I got clients. Mm -hmm. You get and friends as well. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, my camera. Then I I bought now this camera that I have, mm -hmm. which is a 5D Mark IV. Mm -hmm. Now that can shoot videos, can mm -hmm. shoot photos, 4K uh -huh. and stuff like that. So you that. saved money for this? Yeah, I saved mm -hmm. money for that. Mm -hmm. Then I bought the camera. Mm -hmm. Then now my friend went to Germany. Mm -hmm. It's called Benjamin Oluga. Uh -huh. Shout out to him. Shout out to Benjamin Oluga <laughs> for flying to Germany, flying the Kenyan flag in Germany. Then uh -huh. he went to Germany doing film, you know, uh -huh. studying it. Uh -huh. Now the clients that he had, uh -huh. he left them over to me. All right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> luck, luck has been on your side. I have yeah, to say, yeah. luck has been Bad on your God side. Man, yeah. uh, but your content is equally good. As much as yeah. luck has been on your side, your content is, is equally good. Would you say it's luck or you placing yourself in the right place and always knowing how to network with people? Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. You, you have to be good with people, man. Mm -hmm. When you're doing photography, there's no client who will come to you when you're not a fun-loving person. Mm -hmm. you're, not, you're not telling them to pose like this or smile mm -hmm. or, you know, do this, you know, uh, poses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You have to be very, very good with people, mm -hmm. open-minded, mm -hmm. and listen to what people are saying, really. You All have right. to be humble as well. Being good with people is one thing, but people can be bad with you also, you I know. Because uh, uh, a lot of times, content creators and photographers complain about people wanting free randy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> free randy is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is an inside joke, anyway. People wanting free randy, people not paying in time. Yeah. How do you deal with this? How do you not cross the line? Being good with people but still getting what's your worth i think um uh, that's how photographers and videographers mm -hmm. or filmmakers get mm -hmm. into depression mm -hmm. because <laughs> because <laughs> now in this field <laughs> we were talking field, about depression in this, in this right field. before you came in. all right uh -huh. in this field uh -huh. there's someone who will not pay you believe me uh -huh. always like, always when yes. you're getting into this just always. know one day you're going to meet somebody not who's not <laughs> going to pay <laughs> almost all the time actually. almost all the time yeah mm -hmm. but not me because now i was living with my parents uh -huh. so that didn't affect me a lot mm -hmm. because i didn't pay rent uh -huh. they were giving me food mm -hmm. and i was trying to work. so you had the yeah, time yeah, to yeah, learn yeah. Exactly. how to deal with people how who don't to deal pay with people when you're home <laughs> all right so that you can fall back home and say man i uh -huh. didn't make it today but tomorrow Mm -hmm. It's another day. All right, but how do you deal with them as uh, as a people? Because mm -hmm. you still need to maintain your rep yeah. as a person. You still need to maintain your cool, and you don't want lawsuits as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, what I do um, uh, for clients who most of the times what I do. Uh, I tell a client mm -hmm. to pay a deposit. Uh -huh. You know, depot the, always ties you. <laughs> uh -huh. Number one. When, when they pay the depot, they uh -huh. know, okay, this guy is serious. Uh -huh. All right. So the but, depot is yeah, the depot very important. Key, very uh -huh. key to mm -hmm. see if someone is is really serious uh, uh -huh. about your business. All right. Well, that you have to do. Uh -huh. Now the other thing is now um, uh, you knowing your clients, mm -hmm. you know, and um, uh, really following them up. Mm -hmm. Maybe telling them, okay, if you're not paying right now, mm -hmm. then you can pay with, within a span of a week uh -huh. or in something. Installments then, maybe. In installments or uh -huh. something like that. So every up. client is unique, yeah, and you need to understand unique. every client. And uh, sometimes you get paid late. Yeah, that also happens. <laughs> <laughs> the delays will always happen. The delays will always, always happen. happen. Yeah. All right, we have Mister <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mister Jor Roger is in studio with us, the CEO of Magic Real Pictures. Yes, sir. All right, in studio uh, for Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. Remember, we have a question on Facebook. What is the easiest cash you've ever earned? And how long did it last? And how did you spend it? Tell us on Y254 on Facebook. You can hit me up directly at It's by Mo. Mr. Mr. Njoroge, mm -hmm. so uh, 
now that you've entered this field, it's claimed that uh, digital content is the next oil. Do you mm. know how oil uh, runs the world right yes, now? Uh, yes. <laughs> and we are transitioning to electric yeah, cars. Yeah. Uh, oil is going to be worthless. Yeah. So digital assets are going to be the next gold mine. Exactly. So if you're a content creator, you're in the right place in 2019. True. What do you have to say about this first? So I have to say uh, it is very true uh -huh. um, uh, about digital uh, connection and stuff like that uh -huh. because everybody is in Facebook, everybody uh -huh. is in social media. Uh -huh. What are people watching? Uh -huh. People are watching videos, people are uh -huh. watching photos. Uh -huh. That's what we do, man. Uh -huh. that's, that's the job that we do. So you guys are feeding our addiction. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yeah. <laughs> because if you take a good picture uh -huh. or a trendy picture, uh -huh. guys will definitely, you know, um, uh, make it trend mm -hmm. or something like that. And right. People will know you through that. All right. So if you do good pictures, uh -huh. if you do good videos, and you post them on social media and maybe mm -hmm. bo boost them or, uh -huh. or, you know, something. There are ways you can get to, yeah. to understand. All yeah. right, so uh, social media is, is not as simple as people think. True. Uh, Facebook is very different from Instagram. Instagram yeah. is uh, slightly different from Twitter. So there are different tools and uh, there are different tools that people, Mechanism. some people will never even know about, the yeah. back end of Twitter that yeah. you can use to, yeah. to, to optimize your stuff. How yeah. do you keep yourself in touch with all these things? Because this is where you put your content. Because now I started with, uh, with um, uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook is quite easy mm -hmm. because now you're, you're dealing with your friends mm -hmm. who are your real friends, you know, mm -hmm. uh, who have friends from, you, way, way, from back. way back, uh -huh. maybe from high school, uh -huh. from, from primary, campu, uh -huh. yeah, from, from primary. Sunday school. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so they already know you. Mm -hmm. Actually, Facebook, you can make a lot of money through that uh -huh. because now people will see your pictures, then they tell their friends, hey, this, this guy is uh -huh. my friend. He's my friend. He He's does this and doing this. it for real. Uh -huh. He's very, very good at it. Mm -hmm. Instagram as well, there are ways on how to post your pictures. Mm -hmm. There are ways that you can filter your pictures. You know, there's a way that you, you, you have a theme uh -huh. in your Instagram account. Uh -huh. Like it, it looks like you do green or red, uh -huh. tilt orange. So you, what you're basically saying is it you can make it a unique. gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, museum. When I a walk, into, <laughs> when I walk you, into your when Instagram. You walk, when you walk into it and you look and you say, uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. so this, this is different. This All is right. unique. Yeah, so it you need to learn every platform and how to place yourself on it. Exactly. Does Twitter work for uh, digital content creators like you? Yes, it does. Uh -huh. yes, it Still, does. Yeah. it's not for ranting. No, it's not for. Uh, Twitter is actually very good as well uh -huh. because now they are influencers. Uh -huh. When you become friends with influencers, uh -huh. you'll do your, you do, you'll do their jobs. They'll uh -huh. give you jobs. Uh -huh. Then they'll post it uh -huh. on Twitter. Uh -huh. Then girls will see you. Then they'll start following you. Then uh -huh. you'll be posting your stuff on Twitter as well. All right. So that's how that, there's a mechanism. There's a mechanism. Yeah, exactly. Influencers come in handy. Yeah. Uh, as much as you can do it yourself. Yeah, Always good. place yourself in the right place. You have to place yourself. All as right. I said, you Are you ready for to watch yourself? Definitely. Do you watch yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> Let's get a taste of what <laughs> on Mr. Jirongo's YouTube channel uh, before we can carry on with this. There's this day last year when I was contacted by good friends from Technosav and they called me uh, telling me that they want me to give a talk or you know to teach them some basics of photography. So it was, um, I've never done such kind of a thing but it was a good experience. I said okay yeah cool let's do it. You're always busy when on the road. Yeah. So what was happening here? Oh, here we were going to Nanyuki uh -huh. with my friends. Uh -huh. um, uh, there's Kuria and there's Isaac. Uh -huh. Then the car broke down. Man. Uh -huh. We we're going to give a talk about photography. Wow. So this, you turn you life gave you lemons and you made lemonade. Yeah. For sure. This yeah. is a typical example. What is? <laughs> is he a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> it's moving like a rap. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I like. So what were you teaching people in this video? So I was teaching people about to do photography. Uh -huh. You know, a company calls you uh -huh. and they tell you that we have this department, uh -huh. PR and um, uh, photography. Uh -huh. So they, they, they have to 
take photos uh -huh. of whatever they are doing when they go to the field. Uh -huh. So you go teach them the basics of photography, uh -huh. how to use the ISO, the shutter speed, the uh -huh. apertures, uh -huh. the lenses, uh -huh. and how to pose people as well. All right, so there's yeah. a lot to learn when it comes to photography. A lot, man. A so lot. there's a lot you tell somebody who thinks it's just... Uh, it's, it's a lot. It's uh -huh. a lot that happens. You need, to, you, know, you need to talk to people. You need to tell them, pose like this. Uh -huh. you know, to get a good shot uh -huh. and stuff like that, yeah. And uh, since you've traveled, do you out uh, in a scale of one to ten? Mm -hmm. How beautiful is Kenya? Kenya is beautiful. I love the people. The people Kenya? Are, yeah, yeah. Scale of one to ten, how beautiful? Scale of one to ten. Uh -huh. I'll give it a seven. A strong seven? A strong seven. Well, why did we miss the three? <laughs> what, is, what can we correct about the three that is left? This is the infrastructure, uh -huh. which is really really bad uh -huh. when you go out there maybe in amsterdam you uh -huh. see the trams and uh -huh. the train stations uh -huh. and stuff like that uh -huh. and you look back in kenya and you say this uh -huh. is just a joke and we can do it we have the potential to we do have it. the potential we to do it so, so the seven is mostly our nature our, and our, our nature, landscape our people uh -huh. you know our landscape as well uh -huh. Just basically, the people are very, very good. All right, so a scorecard is good, but we can improve for we sure. We can very, yeah, we can improve. We can improve You've it. talked about Amsterdam and uh, places. How many destinations have you traveled? Um, uh, I've gone to South Africa, mm -hmm. Germany, mm -hmm. Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been to Uganda as well, mm -hmm. Tanzania, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So how how, how did you, did you get there? Like, how do you get to, to travel? Is this a client calls and tells you we need you here? Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. we have a show, a mm -hmm. car show, mm -hmm. uh, which runs in KTN mm -hmm. um, uh, at six thirty mm -hmm. every single Sunday. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's all about cars. So mm -hmm. when uh, there are cars which are being launched outside the country, mm -hmm. so we go. Mm -hmm. Like last last month, we went to Germany mm -hmm. for the IAA, mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest motor show in the whole world. Mm -hmm. So you go see the Defenders, you mm -hmm. go the Lamborghinis, mm -hmm. the Bentleys. Have you been in a Lamborghini? Yeah, yeah. Inside? No, no, not inside. Uh -huh. But you touched it. <laughs> but I've touched it, yeah. A yeah. Mercy Alag. No, that was the Sian. The Sian. Yeah. Wow. The new one. How does he feel like? It's beautiful, man. It's, it's a beautiful car. It's very, very beautiful. <laughs> Did you hear the engine draw? Yeah, yeah. You heard yeah. it? <laughs> okay. Wow, that man. man. Yeah. So these are the packs that comes with being a content creator. And with being a good one. With a, being matter. a good yeah. content creator. Exactly. That is a key one. What would you tell somebody who's watching right now and th thinks, all right, I'm going to get into photography yeah. so I can go to Amsterdam in Germany? Okay. What would you tell that person? So uh, I used to be like you. Uh, okay, <laughs> there's, a, there's a time. But now... Um, uh -huh. uh, what I started doing is researching. Uh -huh. We used to look at people like Mutua Maveka. Uh -huh. He's one of the person who really, really inspired me. One of my favorite, yeah. When I was doing, when I was doing accounts. That's was, Truth Slinger. That's Truth Slinger. Uh -huh. I used to just go to his page uh -huh. and say, man, this is what I want to do. Uh -huh. that, at that time, I have an exam, uh -huh. which will be happening in the next like one hour, but I want to be like this guy. I okay. hope it's not <laughs> IP. <laughs> So you, just, so you just have to research. You research, to, do your research. And know what you really love. Know what you really love. Someone said that if you want to know what you love, because mm -hmm. most people don't know what they want to do, mm -hmm. but someone said when, if you don't know what to do or what you love doing, mm -hmm. do what you hate doing, then you'll know what you love doing. All right, do what you hate doing so you'll know what you love doing. Exactly. This set is filled with quotes today. The person <laughs> had previously told me the, the question you need to ask yourself if you want to progress in yeah. whatever you're doing yeah. is why. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? All right. Yeah. How important is this question to you? It's very important mm -hmm. because, uh, first of all, I do it because I love it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my passion. Mm -hmm. I can do it without getting paid mm -hmm. because I love it. I love mm -hmm. taking pictures. Mm -hmm. I love doing videos. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, you have to get a passion with it. Mm -hmm. And if now passion comes, then you'll, you'll just definitely know how to, to make money from all it. Right. If you love it, mm -hmm. you'll make money from it, believe me. Two things you've told me. Research. Mm -hmm. Uh, and passion. And passion, yeah. But when it comes to research, I'm guessing research is scrolling your Instagram, checking yeah. your idols and stuff. Learning. Right. Research and well. practice. Yeah. How do you find the balance? Because practice, you can always watch and get inspired. Yeah. But if you don't practice, yeah, you it's something practice. else. Yeah. How do you get the balance between scrolling your Instagram and practicing at the same time? So what I used to do is, I, I used to watch a lot of tutorials. Uh -huh. And I still do watch uh -huh. them. When I watch a tutorial, I have to do what the guy is doing. Uh -huh. That's what, that's what happened with YouTube. Uh -huh. I started doing YouTube. 
guys were saying, just do it, start doing it, mm -hmm. man. Just start doing it. Mm -hmm. And if you start doing it, then you'll make it. And you'll, mm -hmm. you'll progress and people will see your work and they'll be like, yeah, man, mm -hmm. this guy is doing something unique. Mm -hmm. This guy is really good at what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So he's just doing it. He's just going out there. Going out there to Go do it. Go out there, shoot, man. All right. Let's just shoot with a with <laughs> phone. Go shoot. out and shoot. Go yeah. out and shoot and shoot and shoot. And shoot and Scroll shoot. less and shoot, <laughs> shoot more. more. <laughs> Scroll less and shoot more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How can they find you on social media? So I'm um, uh, on Instagram at Mike mm -hmm. underscore. Just look them straight into that. Okay. Mm. Uh, Instagram, Mike underscore Njoro, D-O-P. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the company name is uh, Magic Real Pictures. Mm -hmm. So at Magic Real Pictures on Instagram as well. Facebook is Mike Njoroge. Uh, Twitter is Magic Real Pics mm -hmm. with an X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Magic Real Pics yes. with an X. Yeah. So uh, Google. Magic real picks will find yeah, everything. Exactly. Thank you very much for coming, sir. Thank we you. appreciate you, but you can't leave without telling us the easiest cash you've ever earned in your life. That is a question on our Facebook today. And uh, how long did it last and how did you spend it? Um, uh, the easiest cash I've ever earned mm -hmm. is what I do every single day. Mm -hmm. That's very easy to earn, man. That's Photography, you're just uh, taking pictures. Everybody uh -huh. has, a, has a phone. All right. You can take a picture. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest That's, job. That is the <laughs> easiest <laughs> when you earn it. The money is still you're it. doing something you love. <laughs> yeah. All right, that is the second time I'm getting that response today. Yeah. So doing something you love, you'd always be getting easy money. Exactly. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. Thank we you. We appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. Magic Real Pictures. I'm Mr. Njoroge, the CEO and founder right there. Uh, it's about that time that we've wrapped this up. Remember, we have a question on our Facebook. What is the easiest cash you've earned? How did you spend it and how long did it last? We always appreciate your feedback. We'll be sampling them towards the end of the show. My name is Barry Moses or It's Barry Moses on social media. Alex is coming up next. Don't go